So good evening, everybody. Um, thank you for, for the invitation. And I will briefly think, uh, speak about a topic that I really am passionate about and also has been part of my PhD that I finalized some weeks ago. Um, it's about the future of LOD. And uh, something about me. So as you can hear, I'm Italian. So be patient about my accent. And uh, I've been working in Italy. So I studied uh, at the University of Brescia. Then I studied the research center of Italy, that is uh, uh, CNR. And then uh, I started my PhD at Politecnico di Milano. And as part of my PhD, I didn't want you know, to carry the bags of the professor. That is very common especially in Italy, I really wanted to work uh, with the best in the industry. So to use you know, the time that you spend. So a lot of people say, why are you doing a PhD? Yes, also I was thinking when I, when I started. So um, and this, especially I, want, I wanted to investigate uh, the role of the client. So how the client can better uh, require building information management, uh, building information uh, uh, yeah, BIM and uh, all these kind of digital requirements. So I went to Boston and I worked for a Massport, that is a Massachusetts Port Authority. So they require BIM and they integrate with Lean Construction. And after that, I moved to UK because I was very curious about you know, this BIM mandate. A lot of people, they speak about the Minister of Justice is one of the best clients that is implementing BIM here. So I work also with the BIM team there. And um, and uh, then uh, uh, last year, I, I started working with MIS. And um, below, you can find different uh, uh, initiatives that I'm involved with. Uh, so I'm, I'm working on the BIM standardization. And also, I'm part of the BIM Excellence Initiative. And I'm a citizen editor of the BIM Dictionary. So many of you are familiar with the BIM Dictionary. OK, a few. I will say something about the BIM Dictionary. And uh, I'm also a member of the UK BIM Alliance uh, and the French Program Mind. And uh, also, I'm very glad to be a mentor of the Built Academy. Actually, uh, it was last week in uh, Slovenia. And next year, we'll be in Edinburgh. So we have Graham. I don't know where is it. Yeah, so he will take care of the Built Academy. So actually, um, is something like to uh, help the students uh, to uh, get familiar with the new technologies and the new processes and so on. Um, so MACE, I think that you are familiar with MACE, is a construction and consultancy company, but also we deal with the development and, in, and facility management. I have some of my colleagues that are part of the BIM team in the construction sector, and uh, we, we built a different project that are quite iconic, as you can see here. And so the BIM Dictionary, for all of you that are not familiar, is a tool that is available online for free. Uh, and uh, it's been translated in 17 languages. And this, this work has been done by volunteers. So if you are, I think that you know, English is easy, so it's already there. But if you are interested to see other languages and you would like to be part of this project, uh, please feel free to reach me. And so why I'm here speaking about the future of LOG. So I'm the leader of a task group at European level uh, on the standardization. And um, I think that you know that there are different standardization bodies. So at the international level, there is the ISO. At European level, there is the SEN. And there is the group uh, uh, TC442, that is about standardization of building information modeling. And uh, this guy, I don't know if you are familiar, but if you have a problem with IFC every day, so this is the father of IFC. And actually, uh, last week, they told me that actually he's the mother of IFC, because he's the person that created the IFC, gave birth to IFC. So Thomas, uh, after I published part of my work, contacted me and uh, asked me to lead this group with experts from 11 countries. And you can imagine, so I'm the youngest, the only woman, so it's quite tough, but it's, it's a great. It's a great uh, work that I'm trying to um, integrate with experts. You can see also there are countries such as Luxembourg. Maybe only a few of you they know that there are BIM standards that actually are quite good. And also they did a quite um, an interesting job about uh, LOG. Um, so what is LOG? When I started uh, my work, I had in front of me this scenario. So for me, it was not clear at all. So I found different acronyms, different uh, definitions, so, such as level of development, level of detail, level of information, level of definition, grade, um, 
hello D, hello I, and then because also I was working in different countries and were really different guidelines, it was very a mess. Oh, how many of you like LOD? Okay, no. Why nobody say? Why, you know, they want an Italian girl to say that? So why we are using LOD? So I was trying to um, understand more about this topic and why people they are using and, and if it's working. Um, and then also, you know, this is a, sometimes is associated with elements, sometimes is associated with the entire model. So it was very confusing for me. So you know, we are we are familiar with this. We use in our you know in UK uh, these standards. Um, we say, oh yes, it's very clear level of definition. So it's a combination of level of detail, level of information. We reference to the past 1192 part two, and, oh, and also we have a great tool, that is the uh, NBS BIM toolkit, but is it really working? Are we really using it in an in effective way? And then we spend a lot of hours to fill these you know, tables and Excel uh, spreadsheet. You know, we have you know, our um, project, different elements with different classification. Here is the Uniclass 2015, and we divide with different phases, uh, and we put this number. So here is, you know, um, you put one, two, three, seven, and so on. So then I started to ask to myself two things. So for, is it clear to everybody? So is it clear what is LOD2? When I ask LOD2 for a wall, is it clear to everybody? And then the second thing is that how can I check if I receive a model, if it's really LOD, you know, here 300, but two or three? How can I check? So as a client, I ask LOD two, how can I check this? You know, we are doing very cool stuff at technical level, and uh, I think that we are not using the technology in the right way, and also the specification about the information are very, uh, we, we do these Excel and PDF uh, requirements, but are completely um, separate from then the process of modeling and so on. So this is only a small part of my research. This is uh, the result. Um, I, I did the history of LOD and here is a summary. So different countries, is how they call it, if it's related to the entire model, to model elements, if it's related only to geometry or you know, to properties and information. And I try to summarize the different uh, number system that are there. So you can see it's not a simple topic and there are different interpretation. <coughs> um, and after that, people they told me, oh yes, it's a great work, but what is next? So how can we solve this? Uh, so I spent um, the, the last part you know, of my years uh, on about research and uh, try to find a solution. And when I publish this work, there's been a lot of impact in the industry, but start, people starting to think, oh yes, it's, very, it's not clear. And uh, at ISO level, uh, they, are, they were working on this standard and they created this term. So please, it's not my fault about this term, so okay. <laughs> so they created this new term, that is level of information need. And what, what we can discuss about the level of information need, it's something that personally I don't like, but in, at European level I need to use, because if it's something that is defined at international level, then at European level we need to follow the terminology and so on. But first, let's try to understand two things. First, that both they, in the ISO that will be published uh, next month, there are two things. First, that both geometry and property are both information. And then, the only the needed information must be required and provide to reduced waste. So we need to work in a lean way. We need to produce only the information and to provide the information only to fulfill the purpose that we need. Um, yes, one thing, so please don't use the level of information needed, but is level of information needed. And I'm not English, you know, mine's not my, uh, I'm not British, but then people start, you know, to think about the acronym, L-O-A-N, and actually it's, then it become a problem. <laughs> then, you know, uh, my uh, English colleague told me, you know, Marty, that you are working on this, it's like, oh my goodness, I will, you know, put my name on this, but okay. Um, so only, I have only one minute to finish. So, okay, I'm working on this standard at European level in order to bring new thinking. So it's not to find an under numbering system because the numbering system is not working. I'm working with experts from 11 countries in order to define a framework in order to think in a different way and to define information in a different way. So the point is that we need to start with the end in mind. We need to think about what we would like to achieve, which are our goals. Because in different stages, 
uh, the information that we need to produce for different uses are completely different. So if we need to do energy analysis or structural analysis, actually the geometry, the quality of the geometry and the properties are completely different. And you know, people, they complain that when in construction, they, they don't use the model of the architect. Yeah, sure, because then it's be creating you know, for the design phase, for fulfill some purposes. Then maybe in construction, you need to fulfill other purposes. So let's stop using these numberings Please be specific. So let's stop asking generic LOD, put this number. Think about really what you would like to achieve, when you would like to achieve. The same use, for example, the cost analysis. In different phases, you can ask for different granularity. So which are the properties? It's not that it's only related to elements. It's not that only it's related to the entire model. Sometimes maybe too late to the systems. So why we are only related to the, to the elements? So be critical. Think what you would like to achieve. Um, an example for reference, if you tell me, oh, I have no idea about uh, uh, which are the purposes, you can find the BIM Excellence uh, initiative. You can find the list of BIM uses that can be used. Here is for free. You can find the table. And this is my last uh, point. So BIM is about the technology, process, and policies. We always say that it is not only about technology. So if we apply the technology in to the wrong process and policies, we are not innovating. We are just facilitating an efficient way of working. So my work is try to change the process in order to be more efficient in this way. So thank you for your attention.